ACL out of the thing, you know. So uh, it's just a tough, it's a tough rule for the officials too. It's tough for everybody. Mark, some of the special teams, uh, I guess, catastrophes that you guys had earlier in the year, you said that you guys were able to survive and, and win those games. Right. Do you think those kind of things would, would catch up to you? If, if it oh, yeah. If you, if you, anytime you turn it over or make some type of a mistake like that, I mean, you, you would expect that it would cost you. Mark, a few weeks ago after you guys beat LSU, you everybody was on top of the world. It's kind of hard to grasp what's happened since then. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a it's a very tough football game. You know, the game of football is a tough game. Uh, it's a very physical game. Uh, you know, guys um, guys get banged up, and then you got to go figure out how to go play football the next the next game, the next down, and all that kind of thing. But you know, a lot of a lot of teams are going through that. It seems like maybe more this year than I can ever remember. Just you hear about guys that are uh, not able to play, and so you know, when that happens, your your margin. For error is even smaller. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta play better. You gotta be play smarter. And yeah, I mean, we're going through it right now uh, in a tough way. But, but we we've got a good group of guys. We got a good group of coaches. Uh, we're gonna stick together. Mark, is there any update on uh, Harvey Clinton and that guy? Uh, you know, I don't know what's up with Josh. Um, he just was out for the rest of the game. Chris uh, needed help getting off the field at the end of the game. So. That's never a good sign. I just don't know. Did it look like Chris's ankle? I think that's what happened. I think it was an ankle sprain. I don't know how serious it was. On oh, Brandon Douglas' fumble there at the end, was that just a case of trying to get extra yards? Or he just well, you know, I mean, certainly when a guy's trying to get extra yards, um, you, I mean, the longer you're trying to grind your feet, the more susceptible you are of the ball coming out. But. Um, he's really got good. He's got good habits. He's got good habits. I'm sure uh, they did a good job of knocking it out. Um, and you know, every once in a while, the ball gets it gets knocked out. Um, but uh, you know, as a young back, he's you know he's, he'll learn to do even a better job of securing the football. Coach, I know the beginning of the season, they probably talked about four to five yards away from the national championship. Consider mm -hmm. what all y'all have been through these last seven games. What do you what you kind of talk to the team about? Well, the main thing I talked about is that it's a it's a tough game, it's a physical game, uh, and um, it's a game where when you're winning, everybody you know wants to say how good things are going, like you said, or and then when you start losing, everybody's going to have an opinion on that too. And uh, you know, the thing I just wanted to make sure that everybody understood that at Georgia, we we stick together, we stick together as coaches, coach to player. Uh, player to coach, coach to coach, player to player. You know, we're gonna we're gonna stay together, and uh, we're gonna, you know, we got to do what we got to do as far as correcting and all that kind of thing. I mean, that's part of football is, is critiquing what happened and and trying to make best the best decisions we can make uh, to get better. But um, you know, I just said it hurts. It hurts everybody. Uh, but um, you know, when it comes to talking to the media and things of that nature, you got to give credit where credit's due with the job Vanderbilt did today. And uh, you know the sun's going to come out tomorrow, and we'll we'll reassess everything, and we'll correct whatever we got to correct. And but the but the main thing is we're going we're going to stay together. Mark, what were some of the uh, second half issues offensively? Um, <clears throat> you know what? I don't really, I can't really say for sure. Other than look like there's a lot of bang bang plays. You know they played good zone coverage, and when we were putting the ball uh, on our receivers. They did a nice job of uh, hitting hitting us as the ball was coming. They they defended well. Um, we didn't have a sack, but uh, we didn't give up a sack as far as what I see statistically. Um, but uh, there were times they they put some pressure on us and forced the ball to come out. But uh, you know I'll probably have to look at the film to really know for sure on, on all of them. Did you guys come in? It looked like there were a lot of rush attempts. Did you guys come in feeling like you? Run the football yeah. Well, we we have to. We we think we have to have a lot of balance to really have success. We don't feel like we can just chunk the ball every down. Um, and really, the situation we're in right now, you kind of got to look at who's healthy, and you got to get your um, personnel groupings. Uh, try to use the ones that have the best chance of success, and and. Um, 
I think everybody felt like we'd have to we'd have to share the load, run and pass, to really be successful. I didn't I didn't think we could really uh, count on one to be a dominating part of it. I think our balance has has been you know part of our success. We try to keep it that way. Coach, it didn't look like Ron County time today. I just wondering what, what was the plan? Was you know what? Um, I don't know if he got in or not, and I'll have to ask Coach Ball about it. Coach, did you change anything on your defense when Pat and Robinette came in after the No, no, we ran the same calls. Uh, we ran the same calls. Um, you know, but he he did a nice job. He he stood in there and made some plays and didn't make it didn't make any foolish throws and uh, secured the ball well when he ran it. Um, thought the guy played well. Where do you go from here? You're, obviously, it's an off week. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes you hate doing off weeks in these situations. Uh, yeah, we probably need an off week about now. <laughs> I think we do. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll give some guys a little more time to get healthy, and it'll also give us some time to some time to assess where we are and and where we're going and where we want to go and how we're going to get there. Coach, a lot of people uh, don't realize how good Gurley Marshall are in pass block. And, uh, mm -hmm. With them being out, has that really had a change, kind of how you call plays? Um, not really. We think our young backs pass protect pretty good. We think they're um, pretty serious about it. Now, we, we've always run a lot of uh, five-out concepts where uh, we'll get all the eligible receivers out, including our backs. So that's not that uncommon. But um, I, I think our guys overall pass protect pretty good. Mark, is your sense that that? Yeah, I think the issue with that is that um, there's never been a judgment call that's been reviewable on a penalty. Is it pass interference? Is it not? Is it this? Is it that? And I think it would bog down the game, and I think everybody uh, felt that, like it would bog down the game. And and when you uh, put this review on allowing a guy to come back in after he's ejected, uh, I think they're really concerned about now all of a sudden you're going to have a judgment call uh, on a penalty reviewed if you were to do that. And I think that's why, you know, the rules committee chose not to do that. But uh, I'm sure um, a lot of people would say, if you're reviewing it, why don't you go ahead and, and uh, change, the, change the penalty if it was called incorrectly. But And maybe you could just have it in that one case. We're talking about a safety rule. Uh, that might make sense, uh, but I can understand why they didn't want to do because they didn't want to open up Pandora's box on that. Because if you if you review that, then well, why don't you review pass interference? Why don't you review you know all kind of stuff like that? It would just it would take too much time. So, uh, but since you're reviewing it anyway, it might be one that they might make an exception for in the future. Coach, it seems like you guys were intentionally really physical with Jordan Matthews, really all game. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a good player. A lot, of, a lot of the things they do with him is throw a lot of quick screens out there, and you got to try to, you got to get him on the ground. You know, you got to fight hard against uh, the guys that are blocking for him, and then uh, rally to the ball. You got inside linebackers, down linemen. You got safeties coming to try to uh, corral him and uh, keep him from getting a big play. And, and like I said, overall, I mean, for 11 catches to get 89, um, I thought we did a pretty good job of you know the yards per catch and. I don't know how many of those catches. Excuse me. I don't know how many of those catches were, were the quick screens out there, but it's it's hard to uh, stop that from being a completion. Uh, although we, although Shaq, you know, Shaq went and got him one, uh, which was which was a big play. It was really uh, really impressive what Shaq did on that touchdown. Can you talk about that play where there was a pick six? Yeah, I mean, if if you read it uh, quick enough and you see it coming, uh, normally you want to get in position to make the tackle, but. If you get a good enough jump on it, go get it. And, and Shaq is an extremely quick guy. Uh, that's the one thing we saw in his high school film, how just how quickly he could change direction and, and go from zero to full speed. And um, he just he saw it coming and uh, broke in front of it. And uh, you still got to catch it when you get there. I mean, how many times you see guys get there and and the ball gets the, you know ball hits the ground because they don't catch it, but he snatched it and took it to the house and. Huge momentum play for us at the time. Did you know that play was coming? Uh, well, you know, he – I don't know why he uh, got such a good jump on it. I don't know if he just saw the QB uh, turning that way, getting ready to throw it, or if, or if it was a formation that uh, clued him that it might be that type of play. But they run so many of them, it's not that shocking that uh, 
they were going to throw it out there. To have one more, anybody? Aaron Murray held to 114 yards and had touchdowns. Does that yeah. speak a testament to the Vanderbilt pass defense? Oh, yeah, they did a great job. Vanderbilt did a super job defending the pass and the run. I mean, we, we have 220-some yards. I mean, that was – I didn't have around here in a long time, so they did, they did a super job on defense. Can you identify what they did differently? Uh, not differently. They just they tackled well. They um, they kept everything in front of them. Didn't give up a big play. Um, and like I said, uh, you know they 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 tackled very well. Thank you.